Hi y'all, it's Alice with Vintage Galley Tees. Welcome to Casing Friday, Copy and Sharing. So today I'm coming to you with a envelope that I'm, uh, I guess, uh, decorating or doing um, some mixed media. It's more of a mail art, and I know I bring my mail arts on Mondays, but I wanted to show the technique, kind of feature more the technique and the artist that taught me this. And I got this technique from Finesse. Hi Finesse, and she's um, pink fluorescent pink glass layer on uh, YouTube and I'll leave the link below to, of her channel and of the video that gave me the inspiration to do this. She does an awesome technique and it's brilliant. She uses it, I think it's one of her eye cats, but she uses it on the flowers. She puts gesso on her flowers so she can kind of tone down the colors and then everything kind of just blends within each other. I thought that was brilliant. I wouldn't have thought of just putting some gesso on top of flowers and um, making everything you know just kind of blend together and it really looks nice you, um, I'll, like I said I'll leave the link below so you can check that out because it looks good so that's what I'm going to do on this card I mean I'm sorry this envelope um, and this envelope also is going to um, to Candace she hosts the swap at yourpaperpantry.me.com and um, the the swap there that she hosts is the mail art swap so this is going that way. I've created, um, I'm creating actually five different ones. So I send in five and I receive five back. So it's, it's a lot of fun. The community is awesome. It's not only mail art, you know, swapping. There's also um, flower swaps, tags. Sometimes you'll find like a, a necklace swap, um, just different, different uh, areas and swapping. So it's a lot of fun because every month is very different. It's not the same. Um, you'll find different uh, genres every month so it's pretty cool and see here I'm doing here I'm, pretty much all I did was get um, some alphas that say fall those are chipboard so they're a little bit thick so they pop out a little bit I wanted that um, dimension on it and then I'm using my mug from uh, what's brewing set from Simon Says Stamp uh, the die I cut that out previously and then I use a butterfly that I punched out also a while back just using little scraps here and there and then I'm gonna get my wipe and I'm gonna wipe some of that off just so you can see the paper and the texture of it as well and um, I really like the way this envelope turns out I love it it um, it's just really cool uh, I thank you finesse for showing us that technique I really really like it and I'm pretty sure I'm gonna continue using that technique uh, throughout other projects um, it's really cool. I also use some rub-ons. I use some stamping. I use some stickers. And that's pretty much it. I really like the way it turned out. And I'm going to let you see this with some music. Um, I'm trying to think if I'm missing anything else. I'm going to leave, okay, I'm going to leave the link below to Finesse's video that inspired me. Then I'm going to leave the link below to yourpaperpantry.ning.com. Um, and what else? I think that's it. So thank you guys for joining me and I'll be back with more. Bye.